guys how are you tonight all right so i am going to start working on my fourth of july cards and i wanted to talk a little bit about the pan pastels these are my pan pastels in this little case thing and we are going to primarily work with i'll try to keep it in frame i don't really know if i can these two and a red okay um you see that other one i don't know maybe okay so I've embossed this card. We're not actually making like a whole card. I'm just kind of going to see if these swish swish on here very well, if that makes um, sense for a technical term. <laughs> I have some little bookmarks, little white ones, um, some tan ones. And so we're just going to kind of play around and see. All right. So these are the sponges that come with it, um, or you can order them separate. I don't honestly don't know. I think I got it as like a whole kit. So you just kind of dab in there and they're like super buttery and super easy to blend. Um, I think I'll just kind of swirl some on there, maybe a little here on the bottom. I don't know. All right. Um, let's try this big one for some red, but I've, I'm really just thrilled. I'll kind of do it in the same motion, I guess. Not sure how they're going to look layered over each other, but we are just experimenting, so we'll see. I just need some kind of backgrounds for the tags, you know what I'm saying? All right, so let's try kind of swirling them like this and see if we like that. Yeah, I do like that. That looks like a nice little blend there. And look, we're already done. Isn't that awesome? Like, and then you can do some stamping on that. You could do like a Versamark thing in the background. Kind of, I don't know. I just think that's really cool. All right, so that is on like a beige kind of cardstock. So now let's try, um, let's try some of this red, red, white, and blue. Or I guess it's just going to be red and blue pretty much. Although there, there is white in the thing, but I don't really think that would work. All right. Oh yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty. Do, do, do. So pretty. I think I like more of the red. I'm about to stick it in the wrong one. Um, but it just picks up those raised images and makes them, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it makes them just like a little bit darker around the corners already on its own. So I think I'm just going to darken this up. I think I'm gonna like it darker. All right, now we'll go back to this one. And I do like this blue. I'm tempted to try that blue as well, but I feel like this is more the, the blue I'm going for, so maybe I won't. All right, awesome, awesome. Maybe I'll put a little bit of blue on the corner, just like we were getting ready to, to blend a little bit more or something, but I think that could make a super cute background and we'll kind of make it wavy, like the waving of the flag or something. I don't know. Anyway, I think that is adorable, but apparently it's going to get all your over your hands and get on the back. So there's that. <laughs> all right. So now let's try it on just kind of experimenting before I start stamping. Um, I'm going to try it on this brown tag, craft tag, I guess you could call it. But, you know, I mean, you could do any any background that you wanted. What was this, red? Okay. All right. I'm not as thrilled with it on the craft, but maybe. Once the stamping's on there, it would probably be fine. So, we'll see. But these do blend like butter. Um, I think people paint with these as well. I'm not really a painter, so I don't really know about that. But um, that's not so bad. So... And you know, like, how long's it been here? This is four minutes and 16 seconds, and we have already gotten three tags colored up and ready to have some stamping, you know? Okay, so what else can we try? Let's see. Um, let's try some not colors. Let's try some purple, maybe. Pretty purple. And... Um, hmm. let's try some purple and maybe, maybe some of this, like, turquoise color. Let's see if that would work. Kind of like to make, like, an ocean, 
ocean themed something as well. But I don't really know if this is the color that I want. But let's just experiment and try. It's very forgiving, so I really like that. Um, let me try to wipe that purple off. I don't really know how you clean your sponges other than just like dabbing them off. Um, so I think I'm gonna try some of this magenta here. Yeah, I do like that. I like that better, I believe. And we can add just a smidge of magenta at the top to kind of tie it in, maybe go around all the way a little bit. All right, let me try some more of that blue. I'm not getting a super dark color with the turquoise, the blue here. That's okay. All right, so that could be really pretty for like fairy stuff or whatever, you know? So since we're just playing anyway, let's try, here's a weird little sponge. Let's try um, something on the back, let's see. Huh. How about some, let's go for some green. Maybe, you know, with Christmas in July coming up, um, we could get into the like half green, half red tag. That could be kind of cool. Let's try that. I guess I'll just switch that off. I guess this side, it's got some of that other green on it. Maybe I need more sponges. Okay, so now let's try this red. Ooh, pretty, pretty. So this could also be like watermelon. Ooh, pretty. Could do it with that. And if you didn't want that straight line, you could kind of, woo. Although I think I almost like that straight line better. But yeah, so there's that. Anyway guys, all right, I just wanted to um, turn on the camera while I was playing around a minute. Let me know if you use pan pastels and what you like about them, what's your favorite thing about them. And uh, I'm going to experiment a little bit more and then um, maybe move on to some cards. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you're having a great night, bye.